So the bridge is repaired now. We can go over to PO3 and the other person whose name I completely forgot. <laughs> PO3... Yeah, PO3 is the stoat, I'm pretty sure. It's the same person, but actually I call them the stoat, but their true form is PO3, I guess. Hey, this piece of land here, is this supposed to be kind of like, I mean, this whole land, is it the globe that we saw back in the cabin? Because I kind of vaguely remember there was a plot of land that looked like this hand here. Yeah, because the globe did not look normal. Uh, PO3 first, I guess? If the stoat's here, if PO3's here, then does that mean that the stink bug and the stunted wolf are also around here somewhere? Yo, what the hell is going on around here? It's like a factory, my god. Challenge me? Let's see your deck. <laughs> Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. <laughs> That's a stoat, all right. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here. But the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line, if necessary. And please, have a decent deck by the time you're done. Okay, okay, Mr. Stoat. Did I lag? Figure out why they're sending me trash bots to scan. This guy makes cards with scanning. And if the bots are trash, I guess the cards will also be trash? A. Technology cards. Oh my god. I feel like I would probably benefit a little bit more from like looking at each card, but there's so many! Sentry drone. When a creature moves into the space opposing the sentry drone, they are dealt one damage. I prefer to look at it once we see it on the field. <laughs> if that's okay. Oh my god, you're everywhere. What? Oh, they're just going in the trash here! What? You wish to trade? I don't know, should I trade? Meat bot. Count as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Okay, we have a lot of foils. I don't know what to do with them. We can buy a pack. Or we could buy one of these guys, but I don't think we should keep it. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, uh, I have so many cards already. I don't even feel like buying any more. So I'll keep it for now. But I do feel like maybe spending it would be a better use of our energy and resources and all that. Okay. Uh, what is this symbol? This is blocking, so don't block me, please. Oh, oops. Zero. Yeah. Oh, that's still zero. Why? What are both these symbols? Do I have any cards with those symbols on it? It's really hard to know what they do and... You can't do anything if you don't know what they are. I imagine they're probably technology cards. Oh! When ExplodeBot dies, a creature opposing it, as well as the adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage! Wow. So it kills people, it kills its enemy and its friends. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. I don't think we have the other symbol. Hmm, but let's see if I can do anything with that. Let's see. Does that mean that I don't want it then? Because having it means that... Yeah, okay, that's, that's doing something. There you go. The lock on glass, man! Two card packs! Techno card pack. This is not a techno card, is it? These little gems. Mox module. Green, orange, blue gem to its owner. Yeah, I assume that's probably for, gonna be for the other place. Each area, each category has its own way of summoning cards. Bones, blood, energy cells, or these gems. Orange mage. All right. What the hell is this? Oh my God. 
Oh, can I have the bifurcated strike? Two. That ain't doing anything. <laughs> ah. Nothing. These ones don't move. Like that? Three out of five. We have to have this one here for sure, right? The two. But the bifurcated strike should be giving us two as well. As long as this is not blocking it. Which it is. Oh, okay. Two more card packs. Shutterbug. When Shutterbug damages another creature, that creature perishes. Also, when a creature moves into the space opposing Shutterbug, they are dealt one damage. Wow, that's... Yeah, this is the touch of death, plus some sort of, like, beam. Okay, Bolt Hound. It's really sort of like the same sort of cards, but with a different theme. Blood Hound, Bone Hound, Bolt Hound. Yeah, is that my understanding? I think so. I think so. Oh, boy. Yeah, another Bone Hound here. Mrs. Bomb. Whoa, fill all empty spaces with explode bots, holy crap. Okay, probably time to do another autocomplete, right? <laughs> I'm paying so much attention to this. Four mantis gods, really? Okay, I'll trust you on that one. But I feel like using autocomplete, it tends towards certain cards and then other cards just completely get ignored. That's what it feels like. Oh my god, there's so much stuff going here. Hey, there's like two halves of the same thing. What the heck? Broken oval. But they have different descriptions. Because they have different sigils on it. This one it gives four bones. Hmm. Whoa, what am I looking at here? We want one out of one. We have zero out of one so far. Some sort of energy... No. Okay, we're starting from here. We want to go through a circuit and become one. This is plus one right now, but the plus zero kind of took away the plus one. Okay, okay. We're trying to complete a circuit is what it seems like. For what reason? <laughs> I don't know. Two. Okay. Ah, so stuff inside the circuit gets the pluses. Initially, it was a one, but there's a plus one on this side, and then there's a plus one on this side, which means it gets plus two, one from each side, becoming two threes, and then it'll be six. Okay. Oh, thank you. People leaving so many cards lying around here. Steal mice! Yeah, this is like the field mice, but steel mice. Thank you very much. Yeah, but I think it's still... Hmm, maybe it is better to just spread out the cards though, from each category, because then you'd have different ways of being able to summon them, and not just rely on one type. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very, very... I'm very busy here. What? PO3 isn't happy with my output, but I'm merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to. Just who are you to be carrying orders from PO3? PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. <laughs> That's not me. I am very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. All right, here we go. Okay. Buff conduit. Other creatures within a circuit completed by buff conduit gain one power. Ah, oh, it's that, that symbol that we just saw. Yeah, the puzzle that we were just doing. Leap bot. Yeah, it's like a leapfrog, but a leap bot. Null conduit. May complete a circuit, but no effect. So when these guys come out, it's gonna give this guy some sort of attacking power. Right now it doesn't have any, so we have to be a little bit careful here. Okay. 
Uh-oh, I don't really have stuff that I can <laughs> do anything about. All right. How about... Oh, these guys are not going to be able to attack the guys directly. Let's see. Better than nothing, I suppose. And you give me an energy cell. That's good. And I can sacrifice you again if I want another energy cell. That's also pretty good. Mrs. Bomb. Empty spaces fill with explode bots. Let's wait a turn. Oh god. Well, there's another one coming in. Oh, we gotta be really careful. Mantis god! Okay, this is... Not good. Because if I put the Mantis God down, I can attack, but both of these guys won't die, which means the circuit won't die. And this guy will come in, and it'll probably get an attack buff, which means if I get this guy... Oh, that might work. If I get this guy, if I put the Mantis God here, then this guy's gonna break. But I kind of want to try out this Explode Bot too, especially since we just got the ability to, but let's see. Like that? Um... Explode bot kills myself as well, right? It's like self-destructing Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Chill out a little bit for now. Another Mantis God, my god. Continue chilling out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just watching. Oh no! Okay, well, we had a good run. Okay. Let's try this. Mrs. Bomb drops all bombs all over the place. Oh, even in the enemy space? Are you kidding me? What? That's horrible. What? Oh, it's got a four now. When Explodebot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures. Oh, uh, I feel like that's... What's going to happen? Am I going to die? Oh, God. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's more like a way to clear the board entirely, I guess. Uh, not horrible, but at the same time, it's kind of like, why? <laughs> why would we want that? Sentry drone. Uh, when a creature moves into the space op opposite it, they're dealt one damage. But this guy moved here already, so it's not going to be moving here. So he should be put in a spot where there's nobody. Actually, do you mind if I just sacrifice you? Is that, is that cool? Sorry, I know it's a bit... But I feel like that would be pretty good. See, after all this, we have so many bones. If we had drawn bone creatures, that would be a great way for us to keep our momentum going. As it is, we're doing fine. Okay. Oh dear. Your message from PO3 must be, indeed, genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I... I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. Oh god. Wow. Y'all just sacrificing yourself for him? Will he even be grateful for that? He seems kind of like an asshole, to be honest. Like, the stoats always kind of felt like an asshole. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We have three this time. Okay, two out of four. The zeros? Oh, the zeros also become twos because of the plus. Okay. Hmm. And then one more here. What are you doing here? Oh, you're like trying to... I don't know what you're doing actually. <laughs> you're doing something hot with them. You're making the little cubes hotter and then like making them change shapes into something else. Four out of five. One, two, one, zero, zero. This one just kind of destroys the circuit, I guess. Like if I try to... Um... Right, it just destroys the circuit entirely. Okay. Maybe start with a plus one. Oh, 
Oh, wait. We have to put everything down. We can't, like, not put anything down. That works. Alright, sweet. Oh! <laughs> what was that? What was that? That red text. That went by really fast? We are! Uh, I am the Melter. They send me raw materials and I... Well, you can see how it works. Let me out! Not another word out of you! We must have a card battle. Oh... Is there two people inside? Factory Conduit Empty spaces within a circuit completed by Factory Conduit spawn leap bots at the end of the owner's turn. Oh no, that's horrible. Buff Conduit, plus one. Oh, that's... This is a really bad circuit. We should be trying to get rid of this ASAP. Seriously. To the point where I'm like, maybe... No, not the Tomb Robber. I wanted, like, other stuff. Well, I'll put you here for now. Get some bones and all that, but I need... I need more. Should I hold off? Uh... No, as soon as they come in here next turn, there's gonna be stuff on the board. That's not good. And this is not gonna block anybody. I should've put it here. I'll do this for now. Oh, I should've... No, this guy won't. This guy will attack the player directly, that's right. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Mantis God, um... I have to put it here because otherwise this guy might get it. So, sorry, sorry dude. I'll put it here. Kind of a waste. Now I can make a skeleton. Which doesn't need any sacrifices. That's not so bad, I suppose. And free bones. Mm hmm. This is fine. We're doing okay, maybe. Can. Get some skeletons. Well, these guys are gonna die. Next turn anyway. Okay, just just do this for now. Good. Yep. Oh, oh no! That's right. That's their effect. Cause a new guy just came on, so these guys are gonna come back. Oh god. All right. Well, it's not a, the biggest problem because I can just make new skeletons again. <laughs> or I'll put down a thick droid. Oh, but these ones are like the completing a circuit kinds, so they're not really getting any stronger. They're just completing the circuit, that's all. Which is not the biggest problem I could have. Mm. Yeah, but it'll keep making it though, that's the problem. Shutterbug. So this could be good. I could try to use... Oh, but I like making skeletons actually. How is Mantis God not doing anything? No, because you- Oh, there's a new one coming in though, so this is a problem. This is a problem. You should just come down here then. Because I need you to be able to attack the player directly so we can end this fight. Instead of us just going whoop de doo and then continually doing this. Okay, we'll get one more skeleton here. And I'm gonna sacrifice you. Oh, you don't need sacrifices. You need energy. Shoot. I don't want to put it here. I want to put it here so we can stop the circuit. That's what I want to do. Okay, you just, uh... You need a sacrifice. Sh sure. Uh, I think I should have put you down here. Oh, but you have a... Oh, you're not airborne, though. Yeah, that would have been fine. Never mind. There is so much for me to consider right now. I feel like we're on the verge of winning because this guy's not that strong, but his defense is holding really, really well. Unlike mine, I'm just like... Freaking out. Even the Mantis God needs more time to, like, work this. Um... I'm gonna knock this guy out for now, okay? Because what I want to do is... Get a bone. I'm gonna put this guy here so we can stop the circuit from being created. And then... 
We'll put this guy back in. There's no use for us trying to get the middle stuff. Oh my god. Oh! Oh yeah, Shutterbug! Whoa, this guy's so strong, I love him! I love him. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Can we keep going? Okay. Help me! Excellent battle! Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for a scanner. That is difficult. You see, I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. Ah! There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, 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 no! Ha 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 ha! Yes! For PO3! Wow. These guys, they're dedicated, I'll give them that. Am I gonna recognize him? Uh, is it this one? No, they all look like that and then they cool off or something. Oh, well, good luck with that, I suppose. Okay. Wow, they're really dedicated. Negative! Negative five out of three. Probably want to get rid of the freaking negatives right away. Can we do that? <laughs> Mmm... That won't be enough. Get rid of that. Two out of three. Ah, maybe like this? Ah! Okay. There you go. Good. Zero out of five. Hmm. If you put a thing on the number, then the number disappears, so the negative is pretty helpful here. Oh, but this is a minus one. That takes it away entirely. What if we do a zero here? I understand the principle of it, but it's like, how do I actually get what I want, I guess? Oh, like that. <laughs> like that. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I haven't auto-completed for a while, but I kind of like what I have right now, though. It seems to be doing all right. Force Mage. Oh, this is the symbol earlier. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Oh. Wait, what? So you just stop people from attacking? That's interesting. Blue Mage. Hey, isn't this the rare card that we saw the guy unpack back in the videos? When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the maximum amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. Okay. Mox cards? I don't know what that is yet. Mm-hmm. Double gunner. Basically like a bifurcated strike half mantis god thing. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Hello? Hi? Oi, mate. I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. But I can't accommodate ye, mate. Got special orders in it? Looking to dredge something special? We can duel, eh? Maybe even give ye something if ye win? But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. <laughs> hmm... Nothing? What? You didn't put down anything, dude. Are you alright? Put a bunch of these cards down. <laughs> You know what, mate? Can't take me eyes off me work gear. I'll give you this, son. Oh! 
You just took a dive. <laughs> Here, take your pack. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say no. Wow. Do I want to try using that energy conduit stuff? Seems kind of scary. Oh, thank you though. Now off with ye! I need to concentrate. Oi! Is that? PO3 is gonna reward me big for this son. What? Off with ye! What? Oh god, what the hell is that one doing? Is that what PO3 will reward you for? Whoa! Okay! Oh god. This is the assembly line going up to the scanner, right? So eventually this card's gonna get scanned. Oh! I feel like there's a lot of symbols we don't recognize here, but also some that we do? Oh... Okay. I wonder if we wait long enough, like, will we actually be able to see it in the next screen? That's kind of why I'm staying here right now. We defeated three guys, right? Well, two, technically, but, um... I guess it's time for us to go back to PO3. Oh! What the hell? It's like random symbols. There's symbols from the cabin area, too, I think. No? Oh god, it's here. Wait, then maybe we should fight PO3 before it's scanned, you know? Should we just keep waiting? <laughs> what if he scans it and he uses it, though? That wouldn't be good. But this is a Daniel Mullins game, okay? There's definitely some sort of secret associate with this thing. Like, if we try to wait around a little bit, maybe... Maybe we'll get to see it? Can I have it? I'll take a picture of it. Oh, God. Yeah, that is not... That is not right. How long will it take to travel to the scanner? Oh, come on. It's got to be here, right? It's got to come. Oh, there it is. Well, we keep waiting. Hey, why isn't it freaking out anymore? It's not freaking out. I mean, okay, if you don't want to freak out, that's... That's okay, too. I just want to see you get scanned, basically. Oh, we're here, we're here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, if we want to fight PO3, we should do it now before he scans it. <laughs> He's scanning each... Right, right, right. What's gonna happen here? Okay, is that really it? He just scans it and... Nothing in particular happens? That doesn't seem right. Really? You're gonna just fall down into the abyss? Maybe I had to talk to him when he was scanning it or something, I don't know. It just feels like they went through all this effort to animate this thing going here on purpose, but... There's gotta be some secret. Well, bye bye I guess. Bye bye Okay, my cards? I want more bone cards, I think. Like, I have the bone heap. Three bone heaps and one tomb robber. But otherwise, like, actual powerful bone cards. So maybe what I want to do is take away... Two bone heaps. A powerful attacking card. Dead hand. Discard your hand. Skelemagus. 
Also, if the Skella Mage's owner controls no Mox cards, Skella Mage's perishes. Oh. That's it. There's only eight cards here, actually. Really? Oh, I thought each deck seemed a little bit bigger than that, but each category only has eight? I can't seem to scroll. Okay. Well, maybe there aren't that many good attacking cards, actually. Skella Magus? Four! That's a big attack. Add one in. Gravedigger? Gravedigger's nice, too. Just, uh, get some more bone stuff. Oh god, I'm like, touching the cards myself. I have a bad feeling about this, but we'll see. The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all my workers, and you actually won? Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them with that? Alright. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. This guy's so snobby. Whoa! You see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. Wait, so even your cards are gonna come over to my side, and my cards are gonna come over to your side? Is that what's happening? What, really? Oh, wow, that's... Okay. Insecto Drone will strike an opponent directly. Inspector completes a circuit. Meat Bot. Three Blood Sacrifice. Okay, I've got one Grave Digger. Well, I guess I... I don't have... Oh my god. Yo, I don't have bones, I can't do anything. You're kidding me. Great start. See how that works? Okay, your turn. Oh... My god, I need something. This is not a- <laughs> You open the crates around the temple, right? You need better cards. Yeah, I do. Okay, mm, mm, let's try again, I got a bad draw. I got a bad draw. The old Draeger wouldn't hop on the line. Don't worry, that is acceptable. Another battle? Yes, please. You go first. Okay, thanks. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> At this rate, it does seem like I, I'll need this. Bone Heap. Uh, I guess I'll put it right here to prolong the amount of time. And, you know, to keep it alive. I passed, it's your turn. Man, this is not gonna... I have to, or otherwise I'll like freaking die soon. Mm, oh, but you know what? If I lived for these guys to come over, that could be my blessing too. Energy cells. So maybe I shouldn't be killing these guys, you know? Hey, why did you kill that guy? I thought you were gonna attack the player directly. Yeah, so this guy's over now. Three blood, I don't need that many. I don't have any that needs that much, so I feel like it's kind of a waste if I- Oh god. Explode bot. Creatures opposing it die, as well as any adjacent friendly creatures. <gasps> okay. Melter. Hey, you were the guy I fought earlier. There's somebody- There's somebody inside you. Uh, you know what? I- Maybe I'll just- I'm Trying to think a little bit here. If I put the Mantis God here, it'll attack this guy and then- Next turn, it'll move over here, this guy- Okay, no, no, we gotta put it here, so that we destroy this guy right away, so that we can save the Mantis God. Oh god. Sorry, Prockle. Oh. I guess that's worth it, though. For now, until this guy- Oh, you're gonna get shuffled over and all that crap. No, 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 no. Okay, I have enough for the Shutterbug. If somebody moves adjacent- oh, Wait. When a creature moves into the space opposing Shutterbug. Yeah, so next, when you open the turn, you're immediately gonna kill somebody. That's great. That's amazing. Necromancer. Oh, I don't want you to, like, move over, though. Oh god. The Mantis God's moving over is gonna be problematic, too. But I'm hoping... Oh, uh, this guy... You're all really fragile, actually. Yeah, this... Lane positioning takes some foresight. Melter releases the creature inside. 
It's a meat bot! Well, that wasn't that great. Yes! Free shot. Okay, maybe we'll be okay because we're basically done here already, right? Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. Oh, that was the first life! Shoot! Oh, scanner's online. Which car to scan? Just kidding. Obvious the one with the best stats. Really? The stat line could be better. <laughs> yes! Shutterbug's touch of death kills instantly. Oh, that guy had the best... The sigils are great. Your move. Oh no. The Mantis Gods. Okay, so next turn, you're gonna kill one of my own Mantis Gods. Shoot, it went over already, so I can't do anything about it. Okay, this turn, Mantis God... Actually, you're gonna kill this Mantis God right now. And the next turn, you're gonna kill this Mantis God. That's so cruel! <laughs> That's so cruel. I think we don't have to do anything. For now. Oh, that doesn't count? I guess not, but you're gonna kill it normally anyway. Alright. Alright. Uh, hanging in here? We are hanging in here. We don't want the Shutterbug to kill my own guys. Wait, what is that stuff? Oh god, no, the bots are- Oh god, wait, no. We have to finish it now. <laughs> we have to sacrifice something. I mean, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're not airborne, actually, so I should have put... If I wanted to finish this, I should have put you back in the same spot. Okay, that's fine, whatever. I don't even know if I should place you down, because there's gonna be explode bots next. Uh-oh. Oh! Free shot. Oh, no! No! Ah! Ah, my poor shutter bug! No! Oh, another Mantis God! Okay, that could be a blessing or... Um... Bolt Hound. Oh no, this is gonna stop me from attacking anything. That's bad. Let's pass for now. Yeah, the Horcoles dies. But now I can put down the Mantis God. I think I'll put you down maybe here then. Oh no, the Bolt Hound is gonna block me. But if I put it down here, it's gonna move later on, right? So... Just do that. After attacking, Skelamagus perishes. Oh, okay, so... Got enough bones. What?! Did you even attack?! Oh, it perishes also if I have no mox cards, right? That was the whole deal. Oh, um, okay. Whatever, I guess. If you want to come over to my side, that's cool too. Yeah, so I would want you to do that, so just wait. Sentry drone. When someone moves into the opposing space... Okay, so actually that would... But I want you on my side. But you only have one health left now, so you're kind of useless. This is how it works, right? If I put this guy down here, it's gonna rush over and I'll kill it. No, I'll hit it for one damage, which will kill it, which means I can't use it anymore. So I don't want that happening. Because I want to use you. Automation- what? Oh, this is just an automaton. Random guy? Uh, I guess I'll just put you down here. Yeah, and then you kill it. I would have liked to have you, though. That was a bit of, um... Waste, I guess. Is that good enough? Oh, didn't have to think that hard. <laughs> yeah, alright, we did it. Woo! Nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. RNG does play a factor here, though, because look at that first miserable draw I had. That was not a good draw. <laughs> Just couldn't do anything. I guess you won. And you've even decided that I am the scribe you will defeat. As if you have a choice. What does that mean? Gamblobot. Curve Hopper. Thanks, I guess. Can't be sacrificed. 
Huh, provides an orange gem to its owner. Thanks. Plasma Jimmy. Hmm. Gem Fiend. Oh god. My guy, charge your camera. Yeah, so we're, we're playing as the... Oh, you did charge. <laughs> we're playing as the guy who's pointing a camera at the computer right now, playing Inscription. My guy, use OBS, it's free. We live in 20 whatever it is in your year, okay? We don't, we don't use cameras pointing at screens anymore to record stuff. Uh, October 12th? Hmm. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. It's a bit formal. Hello there! Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. Okay, good enough. Sent. Mmm. This version of the game that we're playing right now is not even like a known public thing. Okay, we'll see how they respond. <clears throat> Hey card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do, so I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Can hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh that is that looks like a binary code to me. Should we go look it up? Decode it? Uh before that, if something is digital, you can't really take it back once you put it on the internet. So if whether we have the only copy or not, we should be able to find out pretty quickly here. Okay, let me look up a binary decoder here. Let's see. God, it's not even copy and pasteable, so I got to just like stare at this and Put in the ones and zeros. Okay, let's see. Carnoffel code is what it says, apparently. Wait, what was he saying before this? What the fuck is the car? Oh, it does sound like he's trying to say it. What the fuck is the Carnoffel code? Uh, I looked up Carnoffel and there's a lot of references to inscription, of which I'm like not trying to look at at all. But there's also one website that says that this is one of the oldest card games from Europe. So that might be related, but otherwise, Carnoffel code, okay. Where'd you even get that? Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We can assure you that no such software exists, 
in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary Game Funa hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. What? The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa, Customer Happiness Department. What the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? That's bullcrap. If you said you didn't make it, why do I have to return it to you? If you say you have no knowledge of this, then why is it abuse if I keep it? They sound like they were trying to threaten me. What? That's so weird. That's not... It's not normal. They know. They know something. Oh, God! Out of battery again? Two days later. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. Oh she my God! My and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. It came two days in a row. Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. Uh. Also, you can buy a copy of it somehow. Wait. Did his shirt just change colors? And I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. It's light blue here. Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game Look. called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. What the hell? Uh... Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? In inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are a <laughs> Luke Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the luckycarter gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. <laughs> Uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Oh. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay. Will do. Take care. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the hell is wrong with these people? But they they kind of let him off easy though. They're like, oh, if you know anything, just, just let us know, okay? Even though they came twice in a row and insisted that he answered. That's so... <sighs> okay, what was that code? What was that code? Hi. I'm something. All right, give me a sec. I'm Amanda. Amanda. Okay. But it's been redacted. Did someone have access to this camera? Like, who is this still in my possession right now? And I wonder if this really took place a long time ago, like a longer time ago than I imagined, because these things seem to be. I mean, that's a kind of an old-looking radio here. Anyway, that is creepy. What the hell? So I guess this guy's not Kaminsky then, huh? Luke Carter? A guy with the last name Carter playing card games. Huh. Ah, I don't like these. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Valamir. With your bare hands? Don't you need gloves or something? Just in case if you do get the Black Lotus? Dude, they're like harassing him, man. I wouldn't be able to do this either. Oh. Okay, this took place over five days-ish. 
And I think it's relatively close to the dates when we of the last batch, right? The last batch of videos. Okay. Am I just going through the camera right now again? Or like, what is even? Okay, we're back in. Guy, OBS, all right. Okay. All right, 